What's up, YouTube? You know who it is. It's your boy Mims coming at you live with some brand new NBA 2K11 My Player commentary. And ooh, my voice does sound sexy, doesn't it? Yeah, I got that HD mic. Thank you for all the people that supported me and made me enough money to upgrade my equipment. So thank you so much for that. So we all know what today's date is. Today's is time for the NBA draft. So I'm coming at you guys with my personal mock draft and I'm going to tell you who I think will be taken at each position uh, along with trade speculation or at least for my my team at least because that's the only team I really care about for trades but anyways when I, uh, this is um, game 4 of um, my playoff series with the Houston Rockets and it's a very intense game there, we want to just finish this series already. Ooh, run our test for three. Bang, we got that. But, <clears throat> anyways, what I was talking about is that first pick, obviously, I think Kyrie Irving is going to go number one. And I really, really hope this doesn't happen. It's very unfortunate when it does happen. But I get the feeling that Kyrie Irving will bust, unfortunately, because you're basing all of your scouting and everything on 10 games, 10 actual games he played at the college level which I don't think is enough to uh, determine whether Kyrie Irving is good. Yoink, I'll take that. And um, that's why, personally, I think it's a really, really bad pick. Derrick Williams is definitely the smarter option. But let, we'll move on to my things about De my theories of Derrick Williams after. At first glance, I thought Derrick Williams would have been a bust at first glance. But eventually what ended up happening is he was... I saw him prepare, like, learn to play off the dribble, so at first I was worried he'd be a tweener, so I guess that concern is out of my head now, and then I heard the Lakers are getting him, like, trying to get him at least, they were trading, they tried trading Lamar Odom for, um, for Derek Williams pretty much, and the Timberwolves did not want it, and I don't know why you would want it, because you're pretty much getting the same exact thing out of, um, what's his name? Anthony Randolph. So I think that's a dumb trade all in all, but it's the Timberwolves, you know? They, they make stupid trades, and there's not much you can do about that. Oh, <laughs> look at me cheesing. Just, oh, Kyle Gasol's cheesing too. Pump fake cheese. <laughs> all right, we'll take that. So, anyways, so back to my dra uh, my mock draft predictions. Number one pick is Kyrie Irving, got the Duke. You know, who, everyone knows who he is. Number two pick would, is going to be Der Derek Williams by whoever. It's not for sure the Timberwolves, but whoever trades up will probably get Derek Williams. Number three pick is going to be, and this is where the draft could get a little bit iffy. People will have different mock drafts. So I'm going to go with Brandon Knight or, uh, to the Utah Jazz. And maybe if it's not Brandon Knight, it will definitely be um, Enos Cantor. I, de I personally think Enos Cantor is the smarter pick because you, you have Devin, uh, Devin Harris at your point guard. Brandon Knight is, you don't really want someone to come off the bench with the number three pick. And if that's the case, I don't know why you would do that to Devin Harris when you can fulfill another need. When I personally think Enos Cantor is a much better player. And look at this bad defense by me. <laughs> it doesn't matter. He misses it anyways. But yeah, I don't know why you would want Devin, e I mean, yeah. Like Devin Harris, ooh, Lamar. We're just gonna we're just gonna edit that out. Give me a sec. All right. So, anyways, you don't want Devin. Uh, I, you wouldn't want Brandon Knight just to sit on your bench. He's a number three pick, and you're gonna get a Hashim Fabik type of thing if that ends up happening. He won't develop right. He'll bust. Not only that, but he can't really. Uh, he doesn't really have much to his game except scoring. And believe me, I'm a Kentucky fan. And I guess it is a little bandwagonish of me, but I'm not like a hardcore college basketball a watcher. I just like seeing the recruits come in, go in, you know, kick butt. Like this past season, I was paying special attention to North Carolina, Baylor. Um, my main team is UCLA. That's the team I want to succeed, but they've been on the downside ever since Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook left. So, it's, so that's the reason I'm not really paying attention to them much lately. I hope the Lakers do get Malcolm Lee. And let's run a play for me. And that rhymed. Out, and that rhymed. My bad. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, gotta let it go. All right, I get that. Like it's up by five. But, anyways, what I was saying is that. Um. All right. So after Brandon Knight, it would probably be 
um, Enos Cantor. If it's not Enos Cantor, it'll be Jonas Voluncianus. How do you say his name? Jonas something. Voluncianus or something. <laughs> um, I'm really not big on the Euro European prospects as I just throw that one away. Give it, Just give it a grand hill. Don't even bother. Don't give him the foul. Just let him dunk it. So, yeah, I'm guessing it's going to be one of them. Enos Cantor has the least bust potential out of everyone in this draft, which is why I think he'd be a very smart pick. And um, I don't know much about Jonas Valencius. That's why I'm not high on the European prospects because I don't know much about them. So I guess it's a chuck and pray kind of thing. You can only tell by scouting and everything. That's the only thing you can base your decisions on with Europeans. All right, so as I was saying, as I chuck it up for three, all right, to bring us back, it's very... Uh, it's very important who you draft because if you draft poorly, you'll end up uh, like the Timberwolves who, who've been drafting very high since 2007, am I right? Or 2008? And still have no good team going on for them. They already traded away most of their picks. They're trading away Johnny Flynn. They traded away their best point guard that they drafted two years ago. <coughs> My bad. The only smart thing I think they have done is trade for Michael Beasley and Derek Williams is like a much better less troubled Michael Beasley if you ask me and ooh, look at that pass Kobe doing work but so that's basically my view on it they should try to ship out Beasley actually no they shouldn't ship out Beasley give him to the Lakers give Derek Williams to the Lakers <laughs> take Lamar Odom I love Lamar Odom but I don't know you know you gotta get younger and that's the only way to do it and look at that Look at that cheese! Get out of here! Give me a! Did you really? Did you really think you could pull that off? Like, give me a break! So, anyways, YouTube. I'm sorry I haven't come out you guys with a new video in a while. I've been really busy. Not only with number one, I wanted to a lot of times, and look as I just get him with that pump fake beauty. But not. It's not like I don't want to come at you guys with new videos. It's mainly because a I was waiting for my HD microphone. So now that I came in, I'm still trying to learn how to use it. Tell me if my voice sounds sexier, better, any of that. So one, I was looking for that. Two, I was, which it took like 11 days, by the way. Someone's getting bad feedback on eBay. <laughs> but anyways, one, I was, um, ooh, ooh, LeBron James dunk. Who wanted me to put the LeBron James dunk package? That was for you. You didn't want the D-Wade, you wanted the LeBron James, I gave you the LeBron James dunk package, you're welcome. <laughs> I listen to my subscribers. <laughs> but, um, anyways, no, 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 pass it up, pass it up, pass it up, pass it, pa alright, I got the ball, never mind. Alright, let's see, Shannon Brown's open for three, and we got that, you can check that off the list. <laughs> but, anyways, as I was saying, after that, uh, I guess you guys want to know, all right, why would you pass it? Never mind. I guess you... Wait. All right, that was a sexy dunk. Let's just... Moment of silence for that sexy, sexy dunk. All right. So, anyways, I was saying is that... Oh, Yao Ming counters us. All right, so... It's very... Uh, it's very iffy. Like, I guess you guys want to know where I think Kemba's going to go. I think Kemba will go at, like, the... Eighth pick, maybe the eighth, or I don't know the draft order exactly. Um, so I'm guessing somewhere around the seventh, eighth, or ninth because I don't really pay attention to the entire lottery. But yeah, I'm guessing Kemba goes there. He's not biting, so I'll just shoot that. Um, so Jimmer is probably gonna go to Utah, especially if they don't draft Brandon Knight. He's going to Utah. If they do draft uh, Brandon Knight, you could expect the Knicks to trade up and try to grab Jimmer for that. But, and if you guys want to check out his reality, his draft reality thing, that's pretty cool. Like, you watch a couple of videos and then you're like, ugh, I'm too lazy to go through all these, so screw it. And come on, Aaron Brooks, what do you think you're doing? Come on, don't be a hero because it'll end up with a fast break, easy deuce by Brandon James to run our test. Give me a break. So, tell me what you guys think is going to happen at the draft. By the time this video comes out, maybe the draft is going to end. I don't know when I could get this up. Hopefully I can get it up before the draft. I have to head to the gym after this. Very busy man. Your boy Mims is a very, very busy man. <laughs> so, um, 
I'll see what I could do. I recorded a lot. The next gameplay, you could expect a much shorter gameplay because I, I'm obviously behind in my playoffs and I just want to get these all out to you ASAP. So whenever I can get them out, I'll get them out to you guys and tell me um, if you have any uh, suggestions. For the guys that followed me on Twitter, you understood why it took me so long to get this video up. And you, uh, if you guys ever um, want to play with me Black Ops or 2, I want to play someone in 2K. Why isn't anyone like, whenever I get a thing on Twitter or Facebook, I'm like, yeah, let's play him. Ooh, run our test. Duncan, like, give me, hold on, let me think of a good analogy. Duncan, like, he's, hold up. Oh, I got it. Duncan, like, he's in, nah. Duncan, like, nah. All right, I give up. <laughs> oh wait, I got it. Duncan, like he's in the Pacers uniform. There you go. Like he's in a Pacers uniform. There we go. It took too long to think of that. And no way, Aaron Brooks. Are you kidding? Give me a break, Aaron Brooks. So, anyways, um, YouTube, like I was saying, um, shoot, what was I saying? <laughs> Don't you hate it when that happens when you like? talking and I don't know where you forget oh my god that's annoying and there you go another LeBron James dunk for the guy who requested it so anyways I always want to play people in 2k Xbox live I'm on fire lately like I, I just use random teams I've never used before and let's see Odom puts that up all right I just play with te I usually play the teams I've never lose before uh, used before for and whenever someone picks the Miami Heat I use that as an excuse to pick a much better team that I normally wouldn't use because people would say, oh yeah, Mim sucks, he uses just the best teams. Like, for example, one of my friends, Oren, was playing me in 2K the other day, and I'm like, yeah, you could be the Heat, I'll be the Mavericks, we'll recreate the finals, and just like real life, I won. <laughs> it's really tough to get Dirk's release, but once you get it, it's much easier to play with the Mavs. The other day, I also played, uh, played him with the Knicks, and the Knicks were just wow. You just have to, all you have to do, you don't even need Carmelo Anthony. You just give it to Chauncey Billups and he drains threes all day. I unlocked an achievement from that for like seven or 15 threes or something like that. So that's something interesting. Another thing I never understood was what's the point of achievements? Like you, all these achievements, you have a high gaming score. But whenever I see someone's gaming score, I don't say, "Ooh, wow, they have so many gamer points." I'm like, "Dude, you need to get out of the house. <laughs> you need to get out of the house or something, man. Too many video games, you know. Get off that team deathmatch and go out with your friends. Go out to a club. Go get some girls. Go do something with your life, man. Life isn't all about video games. <laughs> like, come on, man." Um, when I, uh, I can't really talk because I have a very high gaming score, but that's because in the past I would have, like, I would go to Blockbuster, I would rent a bunch of games during my summer when I was little. Well, not really when I was little, mainly like three years ago, four years ago-ish. I would just rent a bunch of games, so I have a very high gamer score, but I never really understood that. If they gave you some kind of avatar items for it, then alright, that's pretty cool. But they don't even give you that, they're just like, okay, this is your gamer score. The more, the higher, the more points you have, the larger your penises, or something like that. <laughs> oh my God! And wow, look at these desperation threes. We're in within three. Brandon James doesn't want to lose this game. Let's go, let's go. All right, Aaron Brooks takes it up. Stalls, stalls. It's very boring commentating over this. <laughs> oh, Aaron Brooks takes it. No, 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 no. Oh, runner test blocks. It gives it to Brandon James. Brandon James takes it up. Brandon James. He gives it a, oh, ooh, that's, no, no, not the dagger, not the dagger, oh my god, oh, that's a game, oh, Brandon J another early release, then they take, oh my god, ah, looks like this is game, guys, we lose game four, the series is split two to two, and we're heading back to LA, so hopefully we can take that game. Anyways, YouTube, it's your boy Mim signing out. Be on the lookout for game a, a very exciting game five, might I add. I might only I might add the last five minutes of the fourth quarter. And peace. Wow, that's that's news to me.
And I can tell you right now, what I'm feeling right now will never get old. There aren't many honors greater than this in the NBA. At the end of the day, like I always say, is that team honors mean 10 times more than individual awards. We play the game for the big prize, the NBA championship. That's what I'm focused on. 